a year ago, we thought we found uh, what we believe to be signs of microbial life uh, on the Mars surface. And so we put it out to our scientific friends uh, to pressure test it, to analyze it, and go, did, did we get this right? Do we think this is signs of ancient life on Mars? And after a, a, a year of review, uh, they've come back and they said, listen, we can't find another explanation. Um, so this very well could be the clearest sign of life that we've ever found on Mars, uh, which is incredibly exciting. Today, we are really showing you how we are kind of one step closer to answering humanity's one of their most profound questions, and that is, are we truly alone in the universe? So last July, NASA's Perseverance rover found a leopard-spotted rock at Mars. And scientists immediately knew it was interesting. We hadn't seen anything like that before on Mars. And we talked about it last summer. The moment we found it, we put out the images for everybody to see and everybody to share. And so they've, they've done the analysis on these leopard spots. Um, and we, you know, we think they are potentially made by some sort of ancient life. It's a signature. It's a sort of leftover sign. It's not life itself. Um, and it certainly could have been from uh, ancient life, and that would have been something that was there billions of years ago, nothing that's current there. Um, and, you know, we, it could certainly, as we say, be made by ancient life. And what that means is we look at everything we know about life on Earth. And this is the kind of signature that we would see um, that was made by something biological. In this case, it's kind of the equivalent of seeing like leftover fossils, you know, leftovers from a meal. And um, maybe that meal's been excreted by a microbe. And that's what we're seeing in this sample. I'll be providing some overall geologic context for the discovery of, of these leopard spot features. Um, the Perseverance rover landed in Jezero Crater in 2021. Uh, Jezero was selected because uh, it's in a location amongst the most ancient terrains on Mars, exposing some of the oldest rocks anywhere in the solar system. And these really ancient rocks provide us a window into a period of time that's not particularly well represented on our own planet Earth, but it's a time when life was emergent on Earth and could have been on Mars as well. We can see a bright angel uh, through the eyes of perseverance. Uh, the rover spent several months exploring this area, um, ultimately pushing to the edge, the northern edge of the channel, where the bright angel formation met the margin unit. And it's here at the contact, this edge of the river valley, that the rover explored a special target called Chiava Falls. In order to really understand what makes this particular outcrop so special, uh, we have to get our noses to the outcrop, or in this case, the rover's arm, uh, up close and personal to take a look at all the details of, of these rocks. What you're looking at here is a selfie uh, that Perseverance took of itself uh, in front of the Chayava Falls workspace uh, in the Bright Angel Formation. And what we saw in this rock were these layers of very fine-grained, rusty red mudstone these textural features told us that something really interesting had happened in these rocks. Some set of chemical reactions occurred. What you can see here is a set of spectra that are called Raman spectra. And there's a lot of information on these graphs, but the key thing to take note of is the fact that what we see in these spectra is something called a G-band, and that's pointed out uh, on the image. The, the G-band for us is a smoking gun indicator for the presence of organic matter in this mud. Here what you can see is the chemistry of the surface of this rock rendered in three colors, red, green, and blue. And the mixing between colors is telling us something about where elements are present together. And what's exciting about these finds, this, this sort of combination of mud and organic matter that has reacted to produce these minerals and these textures is that when we see features like this in sediment on Earth, these minerals are often the byproduct of microbial metabolisms that are consuming organic matter and making these minerals as a result of those reactions. So what we need to do from here is to continue to do additional research in laboratory settings here on Earth and ultimately bring the sample that we collected from this rock back home to Earth so that we can make the final determination for what process actually gave rise to these fantastic textures.